we kind of got some blockbuster news today. If you uh, if you're not subscribed or I don't know if you don't ever go to Meta Hub and check out the articles that they write, I highly suggest that you do because they they data mine and they on top of that they put out a lot of good articles that are helpful and useful no matter what stage you are in this game. But today they dropped kind of a bombshell I would say. There is a data mine of 1.6 and what is to come in the future. If you will remember, we had a small little update this morning and most people thought, well, it's just in preparation for the new tournament season that has actually started now. So make sure if your trophies look off, that is why. There is a list of if you were above a certain rank, you got dropped down to 4,500 plus 50% of whatever you had over that with a cap of the most you could have is either 5,000 or 5,500. It doesn't necessarily pertain to me per se because I, I, I've yet to crack 5,000. I should probably get on that. But for everybody else, if your trophies have changed, that's why we have a start a new season. But with this small little update, they data mined and it turns out that St. Patrick's Day could be stop me if you've heard this the best single day of jurassic world alive now the reason why i say this is because a lot of people have speculated that we were voting on green dinosaurs or even we were voting like a couple of weeks ago and all the uniques were options to vote for and so the speculation was is maybe this is going to be a saint patrick's day theme because green and green and well you don't need me to help you connect those dots but according to the data mine we're gonna have five different unique dinosaurs to dark for one day only now remember i'm gonna throw a little asterisk up here this is a data mine it doesn't necessarily mean that it's true it just means that there's code in the game and there's some speculation drawn in for that now if you don't want spoilers this would be a good time to kind of just cut this video and we'll see you guys in the next one but if you're like me and you want to know what do we got coming up and you want to stay around for the rest of this video here's what we got endoraptor trichosaurus Erlodomus, thor and Dioragosaur. all of these are really like uniques are uniques and some uniques are better than others because not all uniques are created equal but these are really good ones and a lot of people are kind of down on dio rajasaur i i i would not give up on dio rajasaur just yet you uh if you if you if there's one thing that i know about this game and there's not a lot that i know about this game but the one thing that i do know about this game is that yesterday's trash is tomorrow's treasure and if you don't believe me you need to look no further than magna magna was a absolute garbage trash unique no one cared and now some people will argue that it is the best of the uniques in the game right now i'm not sure that i'm willing to go that far but at the same time the fact that it went from who's that to i can't get enough that should tell you something so don't sleep on Diorajasaur. Now, if you want to skip Diorajasaur for this event, well, I mean, I don't know that anybody would blame you today. Six weeks from now, two months from now, six months from now, people may call you an idiot for skipping it. But that's, it depends. Do you want to play the speculation game or do you want to go with what you know? So what I'm going to do for today's video is I'm going to help you guys over the next, we have 10 days from now, before the 17th. And what I want to do is I kind of want to do a little series on helping you guys start down the path to getting a unique dinosaur. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna skip Indoraptor. I assume most people already have Indoraptor or it's pretty easy to get Indoraptor, relatively speaking. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start today's little series off on how to quickly get one of these uniques leading up to the St. Patrick's Day event. And today we're gonna to talk about Erlodomus. So in case you don't know, Erlodomus is the unique hybrid of Erlikosaurus here and Indominus Rex. Now here's the best way that you can go about to unlocking this dinosaur the quickest. Hang out in local zone 3. The reason why is because Erlodomus here or the golden chicken as some people like to refer to it is a day, dawn, and dusk spawn for local 3. Now when combined with the fact that T-Rex is a global day, dawn, dusk spawn, and Velociraptor is a dawn, dusk, night spawn, your best bet is going to be running scent capsules, either probably, ideally, 
either at dawn or dusk or probably during the day and with that darning session I just happened to find in a local three that I'm in here and the way that you'll know that you're in local three it's kind of hard to tell on my screen I've got iguanodons everywhere because of the event I've got this irritator gen 2 which is a global spawn so that doesn't matter but what you want to look for is triceratops gen 2 is a dead giveaway unless you're at a gas station and then that doesn't mean anything and the other kind of dead giveaway is Tujangasaurus, Dimetrodon. Those are going to be your giveaways as to if you are in the local three. Now, with that darting session that just happened, I actually have enough for one more fusion. I'm definitely not going to be able to unlock this because there's no way I can get enough DNA off of one fusion here. But I'm going to get another step closer. Barely. <laughs> like a 10. So I still have essentially eight more now in order to unlock a unique dinosaur plan on it taking 13 fuses so essentially if at 20 a piece it's going to take 250 five is 100 10 is going to be 200 and then three more because if you're going to average 20 you're not going to get 50 you'll get 60 but you will have it unlocked speaking of fusing on uniques if I head over, because I we do have nine attempts on the Spinotoraptor or the Pyroraptor or the Darwin, I've only done one of my attempts for today and that was Darwin. I do have two more fuses on my Stiggy Derex, or Stiggy Darix, as you want to call it. Thankfully, I got the 30. If I can, even if I get a 10, I'm going to get another level here because all I needed was the 40 and I just get the 10. But that's going to take me to level 22, maybe 60,000 coin. God, I'm having a hard time keeping up on coin. Thankfully, there are plenty of opportunities to accumulate mass quantities of coin. So there we go, level 22, happy to do that. And let's go into talking more about exactly what it's going to take for you to quickly unlock Erlodomus. So now that you know where to find the ingredients for Erlodomus, you've got local zone 3 for Erlikosaurus and you've got global spawns for both Velociraptor and T-Rex. T-Rex being during the day, dawn and dusk, Velociraptor being during the dawn, dusk, and the evening hours. Obviously the best thing that you want to do is run sink capsules in local zone 3. And good thing that you have about 10 days in order to do this because in order to do one fuse as you saw on the Erlodomus, it's going to take 200 Erlikosaurus and 50 Indominus Rex. But Indominus Rex is actually a hybrid of two other dinosaurs. You're going to need the T-Rex. You're going to need the Velociraptor. And so if we're talking about needing 250 DNA just to unlock the dinosaur, if we're going to stick with the average of about 20 per fuse, could take you more, could take you less, you're looking at needing about 2600 Erlikosaurus and about 650 Indominus Rex. Now, Indominus Rex is going to need 50 T-Rex and 500 Velociraptor. If you're going to get 20 DNA per fusion at 500 apiece and 50 apiece, and you're going to need at least 50 in order to do one fusion on Erlodomus, well, I'm gonna let you do the math on that, but as you can see, it's going to take you a while. But that's why I'm giving you guys the heads up now so that between today the 7th and the 17th, if indeed we do have the chance to dart Erlodomus, you have plenty of time to go find a local three, dart the ingredients that you need. I would suggest running sink capsules, like I said, probably during the dusk. That seems like your best bet to get everything that you need. But if you can't like go out at dusk, I would definitely recommend on the weekends hitting up your, your local threes, hitting them with sink capsules and hitting them hard. That is gonna be the quickest way to getting Erlodomus unlocked. I would imagine based on the way other uniques have been so far that you can reasonably expect to get no more than 125 DNA per darting session and that's probably at level 20. If you're under that, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 is probably pretty realistic. If you went all five, even at 50 a piece, that would get you unlocked. So by hitting your local threes, you're gonna be that much further ahead in the game. Once you get it unlocked, you're gonna be able to add some levels on it relatively quickly. But after you do the first unlocking, so the first 250 DNA, 
it's only going to be another 250 DNA to add two more levels. So you basically, for the price that it's going to cost you to go unlocking, which is level 21, all the way up to level 23, is only 500 DNA, which may seem like a lot, and it is, but at the same time, half of that just got it unlocked. Like I said, I'm going to continue to do a series on these other ones. We're going to have the Trichosaurus, we're going to have Thor, we're going to have Dio Rajasaur over the next few days. So if you are wanting to create one of those and if the rumors are true, if the data mine is true about what we have coming up on St. Patrick's Day, I will have you guys all prepped and ready to go so you can start working on unlocking a brand new unique dinosaur, maybe your first one, when St. Patrick's Day hits. That's all I've got for this one. So until next time. Thank <laughs> you.